far in this video we will see how we can add base products in the system of your jewelry items so now you know in this uh, section we can enter the base products or these are the products that you directly buy from outside and which you, you do not uh, manufacture or make by yourself so those products can be added here in this uh, app the base product uh, app so now let's uh, see how we can do that let's uh, enter the product name here suppose it's a earring so now let's upload the photo So now let's uh, enter the product name and let's uh, select the unit. This is the unit in which it is measured. So if you know this uh, earring, so you won't be measuring it in in uh, you know kg or grams because it is not raw gold. So we will be measuring in units. You know. The products that we measure at one piece or one uh, you know quantity directly one pieces two pieces so those uh, can be measured in units so you have to select unit here and then uh, you enter cost per unit whatever it is and after that the description which is uh, optional if you want you can enter the description or keep it blank then the stock the stock uh, is the starting stock that you have currently or the opening stock of this product when you make this entry so you can enter the stock here and now after entering all the details like click on submit and the details have been successfully added in the system so now let's add one more product now let's uh, add a gold barrier so this uh, this is your raw product because you, you buy this from outside and you'll be using this to make other master products or necklace or other products so those will be in, uh, the master product the product that you make by using base products can be entered as master product so that we won't enter here so we'll add first the gold bar gold barrier and let's click on upload if you have an image you can also upload the image as you can leave it blank and after that the price or the unit since uh, this is uh, measured in grams so we'll enter gram or we can also select kg so now let's enter the cost per unit this is the since you have selected gram so we'll uh, enter the cost for one gram and after that the description the description is optional and then we have to enter the starting stock how many grams we have now since we have selected to measure it in grams we have to enter the stock in grams so now after this let's click on submit so the entry has been made so as you can see uh, this is how we can enter base products into the system and this is how the base product entry for the jewelry system works thank you